And welcome back. We're here talking with the guys about why men are afraid in some instances to go to the doctor and get checked out. We're going to start right here with this group. I know all of these individuals. Bob and I know you were scared as hell of doctors and going to the hospital and getting checked out a long time ago, but now you'll go for a hangnail. Why's it got to be a hangnail? <laughs> <laughs> I like to go to check my answers. Uh -huh. uh, WebMD is uh, the devil, so like got to make sure my self-diagnosis is correct. And is they give you a lot of wrong information. You know what oh I mean? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I go check it out. All right. You still have a fear of going to the doctor uh, yeah. and, and getting checked out. Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm going to blame it on my mother. <laughs> so she's from Louisiana. You know, like, we just grew up with a lot of concoctions and, you know, witch doctor medicine. Put some Akiricone on it. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, you have a flu and it's a hot toddy, you know, um, it's just not normal for us as, as guys. We got to tough it out. So, um, but as you get older, you kind of have to realize that, you know, things might go wrong. And you might have to have somebody else look into it. So I'm trying to get there, um, you know, after what, 40? You know, there's some things that I don't want to get violated and have to bend over. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm afraid of that, for sure. <laughs> now, David, you said you're obsessed with knowing. You, know, you don't necessarily like to go to a doctor, but you're obsessed with knowing what's wrong with you. Well, my, I guess I get that obsession because of the simple fact I want to know. I want to know. I mean, because, you know, it, we all walk around here like... Um, I know everything about myself. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. You need to go get checked because uh -huh. you might not be right. Uh -huh. So my thing is... You sound I'm like you're like, talking about that nasty lady's disease. Right? <laughs> 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 you know? I'm, I'm burning, see. I'm burning. <laughs> Jason. Burning. <laughs> Jason, as far as you go, you're afraid to go to the doctor. You're just like me. I, I'm afraid to go to the doctor. So I, I, I think one of my earliest memories was like, you know, going and visit my grandpa at the hospital or something like that. And so I think it probably goes back to that. I can't stand the doctor. I don't like going to the hospital. I can talk to doctors all day long, and, and some of my clients are doctors, but like as soon as they put the glove on, like, <laughs> he brought uh, the glove. Uh, bend over, son. Bend over. Yeah, yeah. So, what, what you want me to buy a glove? What? Two fingers. Uh, See, oh, you uh, want he started putting that glove on earlier. Yeah, no, I, I am terrified of doctors. I, I, I know my lifestyle. I know that I drink, I know that I smoke cigars, I know that I, I'm not the healthiest person. You're afraid of the unknown. I, 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 I don't want to know. I, I'm okay with the... With the I'm exactly your way because if I'm fine and there's something wrong but I'm still fine, I'm okay with it. Exactly. Now, Alexander, you're a millennial and I you guys go to the damn doctor. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> no, you have no fear whatsoever. No, I don't have a fear of doctors. You know, I actually, I, I love to go to the doctor at least once a year to get my annual physical just right. so you know your numbers are right, just to be prepared for the future. You know, I want to live a long time. I want to have a great life. You know, I don't want to be hit with some surprise disease or condition that I wasn't aware of when there's some underlying signs that are being shown at an early age. But part of you is you live such a damn healthy lifestyle. You're out, he's out rollerblading, riding <laughs> bikes, and, and all that kind of stuff. How important is it for you to stay healthy? It's extremely important. So the type of work I do requires me to travel almost every week. And so being sick is not an option for me. So I'm constantly checking my health, making sure I'm on top of it, exercising, eating right. You know, after a while, you just start loving it. You start loving healthier food. You love it exercising because of the feeling it gives you. So for me, I'm addicted to it. I love that feeling of being healthy. Nobody wants to lay up in bed feeling bad and, you know, stuck at home. I lay up and eat some Reese's peanut butter, girl. <laughs> <laughs> at night. You have a very healthy lifestyle now. I go to the gym every day, work out, healthy eating. I do. Uh, you know, as we're growing up, like you said, we got to get everything checked out. You see some of your friends, your peers that are... Uh, not taking care of themselves as well, so uh, they're starting to uh, develop problems, mm -hmm. and you kind of freak yourself out. So I think it's I think it's a good thing going. All right, gentlemen, thank you for joining us, and we'll be back still ahead. We're talking about the erotic ball. Wait till you see what they're wearing. We'll be back.